For me, Palante means moving the culture forward. More stories, more representation, and even more important than more representation, more power at every level of, of this industry. Once upon a time, in a faraway land called Washington Heights. I think my identity shaped how I approached my career in a big way once I started to really embrace, you know, who I am. When you're in an industry where you don't see too many people who look like you or sound like you, and you're kind of trying to just blend in, and I realize I have to embrace where I'm from and how I speak. That's the character I want people to see on the screen. I want them to see me. Here's your chance, ask her out right now. Hey! There's something on your shirt. I never really thought of my identity before coming to the United States. In Mexico, I was just one of the bunch. And at first, I thought it might have been an obstacle, but now I see it as a superpower and as a responsibility. Everything in my career, projects that I read for, are all reflective of the things that move me as a first-generation Latin American. I stand for so much more than just my own dreams. Little details that tell the world we are not invisible. This is the moment when you do better than me, because you can see a future that I can. I always try to bring a little bit of my past, my culture, my flavor to everything that I do. That's how the identity kind of seeps through. There are a lot of things about my identity that kind of come to an intersection. And those things are that I'm Latina, that I'm a woman, and that I'm queer. And I think for a long time, I didn't celebrate those things in the way that I am now. There's a place for everyone's story in this world. Well, first and foremost, who am I? That's the question that I had to ask myself, what do I identify with? And to be very vocal of me knowing and embracing my roots, embracing my blackness, embracing my Taino roots. And I think that once you identify and feel most safe and secure of who you are, no one can take that away from you. That's been my approach. Being Puerto Rican and just Latinx in itself showed me how to look out at things and to look back at where we came from. Maybe this neighborhood is changing forever. Respect those that helped break down these barriers to allow me to be in a place in my career that I'm at now. Sonny, you're late. You know you love me? I'm always trying to get us on the board. I'm always trying to tell stories that I feel haven't been told before. One of the lessons I learned working with Kiara, my incredible co-writer on In the Heights, is when you bring all of yourself, into the room. The Latino part of you, the musical theater part of you, the hip hop part of you. Um, there's enormous power. My Latinidad is, is inseparable from that. Representation and visibility are so enormously powerful. You can't know what you don't know. So when you see yourself represented, it's amazing. So that you can say, okay, I belong here to this fabric of cultures in the United States. It can empower little boys and little girls to reach for the stars and fight for their dreams and become the next leaders of tomorrow. Because the world is big and the world is colorful. There's a breeze off the Hudson. And just when you think you're sick of living here, the memory floods in. For me, Balante means surpassing all that comes before you, bulldozing it over if you have to. It is a reminder to yourself, to the people around you that you love, that there's always a way forward. If you fall, pick yourself up, dust yourself off. Don't stop, no matter what. Always forward motion. Give it all, full force. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't look back. Let's go, we in it. You know, pa'lante, sigue pa'lante, keep going. What is life in Washington Heights?